Maureen, see, do you see the nonsense going on about soulmates? Give me the gist, what's good? Well, aside from the fact that we know they're trying to kill all who, what, when, where, how, why is love, I saw something today saying that there's no such thing as soulmates. We're just individuals who blah, blah, blah. And, and the point is we have to see ourselves within another. Therefore, it's always about loving ourselves, basic spirituality. Oh my God, Ugh. I hate basic spirituality. It's so fucking annoying because that's why people are over here fucking going crazy about twin flames and the fact that they think their twin flame is going to show up in a day when they haven't even done the years of work that it takes to even achieve such a basic title. I know, how many times you go on YouTube and you watch a tarot with thousands of followers talk about how they're with their twin flame. They're fucking like between the ages of like 18 and 27 talking about how they fucking met their twin flame. Oh my god, bitch. I thought I was the only fucking one. There's this one reader who was talking about her twin flame and her energy was giving. I know this isn't my twin flame, but I'm just trying to make daddy happy. <sighs> but we digress. As usual, we digress. Now, back to the common denominator here. The selfishness of humanity. Yes, that so omnipresent selfishness that makes them entitled to things that they don't fucking deserve especially without doing work those annoying social norms norms that make people like me with neurodivergent qualities seem like weirdos until we come to terms with ourselves oh my god it's getting hot up in here up in here it's the vibe all the time. It's the vibe all the time. Speaking of rocks, the denseness of the stubborn human entitlement, thinking about themselves when it comes to soulmates. No wonder they don't believe in soulmates. Tell them what the true definition of a soulmate is, Maureen. You got it, dude. A true soulmate are individuals who share the same oversoul as you. And in the sharing of that oversoul, you see yourself in one another, yes. Yet the part that is missed is the uniqueness and the individuality of said other. That other being more than just you. That other is a particle embodied of the entire cosmos that must be acknowledged for its eccentricity beyond the box of the group and with the difference of the hive mentality adding to the all which is the truth, the way, and the light, therefore unconditional love. Which is why majority of humanity gets stuck nowhere. <laughs> they literally don't get anywhere because you will never be with your soulmate until you have found love in the most hopeless place of all, you. <laughs> 